Hello friends, this is Harshal and welcome to my YouTube channel that is Harshal's Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to explain you that how can we um, how can we deploy the code or the application on on premise instance so for that reason uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, go to the documentation of uh, aws that is https docs.aws.amazon.com so here you can simply uh, search for code deploy and if you Okay, uh, okay, so here is code deploy and we will get a lot of uh, a lot of search options so lot of result we ha we have got so here if you uh, what we want we want to uh, install code deploy no that's not we want okay just go here in what is code deploy right so on the left hand side you can find uh, you can find the topics so here if you go down and that is working with instance right yeah working with instance so we are working with on premise instance right so just click here and here you will get the first is prerequisite for uh, configuring an on-premise instance so here is on-premise instance right so so they will tell you what is the on-premise instance and all the stuffs all the information you will get here on this page right uh, but uh, we don't need it then register register and on premise instance if you go here you will get here uh, the the second one that is use the register on premise instance command that is iam user arn okay there are two there are if you go here on first right okay there is nothing okay so i click here and i will here i can see the steps right there is step 1 to step 11 and uh, we just follow these steps and by following these steps we can successfully deploy our application on on premise instance so the very first step is that we need to create i am user right so just go uh, we just need to go to the console here and search for I am right there is a I am and also we need code deploy so I write here code deploy okay uh, the very first thing uh, we have to do that we need to install code deploy uh, user premise okay so first I delete this and I create new user okay so I delete this uh, this user and I will create a new user so that you can understand very well right and also I will I will delete the code uh, role as well and yeah this is code pipe this role I need to and that's it okay so I'll delete the role also that is not required for now so I'm deleting it right and here you will uh, you will get the message that is roles deleted so go to the user and we just need to add the user here on the documentation uh, here you can see that we recommend that you assign i am user a name that identifies its purpose such as code deploy user on premise okay you can give any name uh, which fulfill the uh, which fulfill the purpose 
so i just copy that name okay and i give it here you can give any name and here what uh, what we are uh, what permission we are doing what kind of access we need to give to this uh, user that is access key pro programmatic access right we don't need to give aws uh, management console access because it is a vm virtual machine it could be a virtual machine or a physical server in the premises so anything can be possible right so uh, what we have done we have given the access key programmatic access so the next one uh, we need to attach uh, some policies right so of course code deploy policy need to attach right so code deploy full access uh, we should give to uh, this user right go to next and here uh, okay I'm creating this user first and there is uh, access key so I copy this access key right, and paste I note down here the access key and also uh, that uh, secret access key is also required so I have I noted down both access key and secret access key so okay fine now what we have to do we need to add one more permission that is s3 uh, permission right so what I do I just click on the user I give s3 full access or uh, to this user so add permission now attach existing policy that is s3 full permission right so here is amazon s3 full permission go to the next add permission so right now uh, there are two permissions we have given to uh, this user that is code deploy user on premise okay so the next step is okay we will go step by step so I knew that uh, what kind of permission we should apply uh, to that I am role so uh, to the user so I have given the permissions see uh, the second step we have done uh, we have already done that is uh, we have assigned some permission to the I am user right so I have given the s3 s3 full access right and also code deploy access code deploy full access right so now uh, okay so the second uh, second also uh, step has done now the third step third step would be get the im user credential of course we got the im user credential that is uh, that is access key and secret access key that is the im user credential right then the step four that is add a configuration file to uh, the on premise instance right so what we have to do we need to add configuration file so what kind of configuration file uh, we need to add so here you can see this one okay we need to create a file which name uh, okay here is the name right the file name should be this code deploy uh, on premises dot yaml file uh, for ubuntu server or uh, rel on premise instance or conf dot uh, on premises dot yaml this is for windows servers right but uh, we are using uh, linux now a linux environment so we will give that name okay so what we have to do for the uh, for this we have to install we have to launch an instance right so uh, for launching an instance uh, we have we should go to ec2 and open in a new tab now this is ohio and this one is also ohio yeah ohio okay so uh, i'm launching instance in ohio region so I click here on instance I launch the instance uh, so I'm not giving any name here for now okay 
and I'll not change anything just only one thing you have to do that you need to uh, you need to have a key right key pair so right now I'm taking this Herschel cloud okay and then uh, okay so actually we are uh, we, uh, we are making a web server right we want to display the HTML page we want to display the page uh, on internet so that's why the HTTP uh, HTTP request it has to be allowed right so I am select uh, these two options okay the security group uh, that launch wizard 8 the security group will have uh, SSH SSH traffic uh, will have SSH traffic HTTP traffic and HTTP traffic so everything is perfect so now if you go down uh, here is okay then you don't need to do anything right here okay so everything is uh, everything is perfect and we can simply uh, launch the instance where is the option okay here is the launch instance option and our instance is launched now just see all the instances so here you can see the instance okay it is in pending so um, actually it is not actually it is not the EC2 instance it is it is a fake virtual machine right it, it is a on-premise instance you can consider you can assume that it is not a, an EC2 instance but the on-premise instance okay so yeah So now what we have to do we need to uh, we need to check that documentation first okay so here we have to add the configuration file right uh, because it is the uh, it is the on-premise instance and we need to add some con uh, we need to uh, make some configuration so that's why uh, some uh, some changes we need to do so for Ubuntu uh, server, uh, for it's a Linux server, right? So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, for Ubuntu server, here if I where is EC2? Okay, so I connect EC2 instance by using EC2 instance connect, and I get access to EC2. Uh, sorry, on premise instance okay it is a fake on-premise instance so here uh, what I have to do I have to create okay first I take sudo hyphen I okay so right now control V mkdir I am creating a directory so hyphen p so the all directory will be created right and now what uh, what we have to do we just go into that directory that is conf but before that there is cd command right right now we are in conf directory and here we need to uh, create a file right we uh, where is okay so here we need to create that yaml file right so just copy this one and yeah, here is the instance control v okay so by using vim i can do that here uh, we need to go insert mode and i need to there is okay so here uh, this information we need to put there in this file yaml file so copy that and control v right so we need to so uh, i have to add secret key id okay where i get secret key id so here i already pasted secret key id so copy that secret key id and okay again okay 
Oof. Okay, so again I will do the same that I will uh, I will create okay I will create this YAML file so copy this paste here creating file using Vim right then insert mode and okay and here I copied that paste it here right then secret access key so I copy this secret key uh, access key okay and now secret key I have to put here so here is the secret key right I copy this and paste it here then I am user I a r n so uh, for that reason I need to go I am console so here uh, if you go to users Uh, this user uh, I had created so I just click over here and here in detail uh, you in the summary you can see that user ARN that is the URN I I need I need it okay so I go here I paste the uh, user ARN that is perfect and the supported region right the region should be here is the reason that is OIO US East 2 so that is US East 2 that is the reason okay so file has been created okay right so I have created this file that is code deploy on premises dot yaml right so the configuration has done now what is the next the next one is install and configure the aws cli so in my physical machine i need to check whether i have uh, i have installed aws cli or not to install aws cli you can uh, you can refer the aws configuration uh, documentation so uh, you can easily install aws cli so here I had already um, installed AWS CLI so I will check version okay and here I can see that the version of AWS CLI so it is already installed in my machine so now what is the next uh, the set of AWS region environment variable so that is uh, we can skip this part okay this step because it is not required for now then we can install the code deploy agent okay well, from the last video you can easily understand that how can we deploy the code deploy agent so we are doing this uh, same step here okay so uh, here is So now uh, there are some steps we need to follow here is uh, bin and bash file uh, I used to I used to put this information on user data right user mode uh, while launching the instance but right now I had I have already launched the instance and now I'm going to um, now I'm going to executing uh, these commands one by one so the very first command that is uh, we are going to update the system that is I'm going to copy or I can do one more thing okay I can simply what I do I just I just create a, a dot sh file so I just copy here okay there is and test 
vim test.sh okay just create sh dot uh, sh file and here i can paste all the commands right uh, but here the okay uh, what is oio us is to so what i do i i do some changes that is us east to So if we check here, uh, US is two, right? Yes, perfect. US is two. US is two. Okay, right. Again, here is US is two. Right. So now everything is perfect. So. I just save this file right I have saved the file so right now I have to uh, give some execution ch mode execution uh, permission to that file so that is test.sh so execution permission has been given to test.sh file and now we can uh, we can actually uh, run the script so how can we run the script just this way okay test.sh and it is started so all the uh, all the commands will be executing one by one here right so automatically we don't need to run the command uh, one by one here manually right it is automatically running so done okay now we need to check whether uh, is whether the agent uh, is installed or not so there is a command we can check so I copy here and I can paste so here is we can check that AWS code deploy agent is running as PID process ID that is 6862 so we are good here now okay so we have done a good job so then install code deploy agent yeah we have done then the next step is register the on-premise instance with code deploy now we have to register the on-premise instance with code deploy so what to do here you can get the command okay you just need to run this command that is okay and where you need to run this command you need to run this command on your uh, machine not on a uh, on premise instance but on your machine so right now uh, cd demo okay why i go to cd demo because here is my code okay. uh, the code for my application okay so i just go into the here that uh, a demo and here i want to run the command so uh, look AWS deploy it is going to deploy it is going to register on premise instance right so instance name would be this a set tag right then I am user that is this so our I am user would be different right our I am user is uh, where is okay so this is the user So here we uh, just copied this one, I pasted, okay, and deploy instance name, so everything is perfect, only uh, this uh, ARN, 
a user ARN mm, uh, we need to check so now there is an error we received right so I was expected to get uh, uh, get this error uh, because we have not uh, we have not uh, accessed right we have not given the access actually so what we have to do we need to uh, get the security token right so we need to AWS configure we need to create a profile or uh, that name could be you can give any name okay so I have given the name that is test so access ID again I have saved the access ID that is this one so copy the access ID I paste it here then uh, AWS secret access key uh, that is this one so copy this paste it here and uh, default region name that is US East 2 right so I need to check again because I don't remember most of the time US is 2 okay that is perfect so here is US is 2 now next one is JSON format if you don't give any format that is also fine so we are good uh, right now okay so this is our uh, user ARN that we change so here we can simply uh, add profile that is test right and now you can see okay so we have uh, already registered we have done the register uh, registered part so just check here on the documentation right so tag on premise instance so register the on premise instance right so we have register on premise instance with code deploy okay now tag the on uh, on premise instance so here you can uh, you can tag the on premise instance okay i can also tag the on premise instance uh, for tagging the on premise instance you can go here on code deploy and here you can see the on premises instances click on it and here right uh, you can see as a tag so just click on it so it is registered now and if you edit this you can uh, you can give any name right so I give the name that is uh, on prem instance okay you can give any name on prem instance so that is fine okay I click here again I go to the application now okay we can go to the uh, documentation here now the next step is deploy application revision to the on-premise instance right we have to uh, okay so we have to add the revision on s3 bucket so for that reason what we have to do first we have to create the application so to create the application i need to go to uh, code deploy and here is the application or uh, you can click on getting started so easily we can create the application so my app here is on premise right then create the application now application is created and now we are going to create the deployment group so here we can give any name so I have given the name that is dev and service role there is no service role right uh, no ARM so again I have to go there and I need to click on roles I need to create the role so directly we can uh, create the role that is code deploy code deploy deploy role is needed so here is the option I select 
next now code deploy role that is that is what i want and code deploy role okay now i i need to add some permission i need to add s3 permission also to add s3 permission uh, where is add s3 permission and this is edit right I can add permission here but I don't know why it is not allowing me to add to edit the permission uh, the type of that is selected in query following uh, okay first we uh, we do one thing we can we can create the role okay and then we will go we will add the permission we can add we can add the permission later on so right now role has been created that is code deploy role and okay here i can add the uh, permission attach the policy and what policy i want that is s3 policy i need that is amazon uh, full access i'm giving to it so i attach and now this role has two policies AWS code deploy role and S3 full access. So, okay. Again, I am refreshing this page so that the role will be reflected. Again, the development group name. So, I am giving the name that is dev and the service role now is visible in place and directly deploy okay enable so uh, we need to disable that okay okay and here you can see that on premise instance so here uh, we don't need to uh, click on amazon ec2 instance we must click on on premise instance right so here name is right so the name is on frame instance something like that okay so now i forget uh, the name okay again i have to go there okay no worries so uh, okay we go to code deploy and here on premise instance if i uh, if i go into this and edit this portion or if i don't edit that's fine so i just click here and copy that right and now go here on my application creating the deployment group so here first on premise instance so name and I have to paste here, right? So absolutely perfect. Now, dev, group name is dev. You can give any name. Service role I had already created in place. And yeah, this should be never, okay? Install AWS code deploy agent. It should be uh, never because it's on premise instance and aws services we we are not putting in, in aws services here so now load balancer should be disabled now we are creating the deployment group and after deploying a group we can uh, we can create the revision right so for creating the revision uh, we first need to create the s3 bucket so for that reason i'm going to s3 right there are 
there might be a lot of bucket available yes there are a lot of buckets available but i'm i want to create a new bucket okay demo test buck okay demo test bucket such so kind of bucket enable the versioning and i can create the bucket so this is our bucket demo test bug okay that is fine okay so now i want to uh, i want to uh, push my revision into this demo test bucket so for that reason what i have to do i have to go to my here okay here is my code so here i want to uh, run some command that is i show you that what command or uh, for pushing the uh, for pushing the code or the revision onto into s3 bucket that command we you need to run so i copy that right first of all uh, test okay that profile name is test okay i i got forget okay so i put i paste here and my profile name is test right so this is us is 2 right then okay and now here the name bucket name is here is the bucket name that we had created demo test buck so i copy this name and i paste here right so okay now what we have to uh, change that is application name my application name is my app this is my application name so if i want to check i go here and i click on application here i can see the name of application is my app now okay everything is perfect i just clicked on it and the revision is been created okay so after creating the revision what what we have to do we can uh, we can now create the uh, deployment right here is deployment group i had created that is dev and now i can create the deployment and here uh, my revision is in amazon s3 so i click here and i can easily see that the bucket name demo test bug that i had um, I had just created and there is app dot chip okay. so now creating the deployment and in a moment it will be successful so now you can see that it is successful 100% and if you go down you can see here the view events so here is all the events you can see application stop download bundle after install install after install before install uh, install after install application start and validate service so these events will uh, will take some time uh, but yeah uh, the quickly they have done and the status is showing successful so that's wonderful okay guys so in in this way uh, we can uh, we can do deployment of our application on uh, on premise instances right now what we have to do just go to uh, ec2 instance where is ec2 instance here is ec2 instance and if i go to instances right i can click here and here is you can see that dns right public dns here is here is you can see public uh, ip4 dns just copy this and control v and now you can see 
our code our application is actually deployed on on premise instance so uh, th that's it uh, from this uh, for today's video so thank you so much guys for watching my video bye